Hello everybody and welcome to our channel. Join us today as we unveil the harmonious fusion of cutting edge technology. Presenting the comprehensive workflow of the DJI Zenmuse L2 LiDAR alongside the DJI Matrix 3 the RTK drone. Get ready because it's time to fly. First up, let's talk about the DJI Zenmuse L2 LiDAR sensor with its remarkable vertical accuracy of 4 cm at flight height of 150 m. This technology is set to revolutionize the surveying and mapping. But that is not all. The L2 enhances penetration capability with a small beam divergence allowing it to gather data beyond vegetation. Plus, with the support up to 5 returns, it is efficiently collects bare earth data with both repetitive and non-repetitive scanning modes. An RGB camera equipped with a micro for over three CMOS sensor, the Zenmuse L2 is a game changer. Today, we are utilizing the Matrice 350 RTK drone for our mission. But first, let's set it up. Press on enter camera view and can see all the pre-flight parameters and we press on the console to go to the L2 views. After that, back into home screen of DJI Bio 2 app and going over flight route and click on the plus sign to create a new route and click on area route and then specify the area to planning the mission after finish. This is the area we will try to fly our drone over it and hit the check choose model and then I will be go to payload settings and it asks you to enter the return mode and the L2 support up to five returns and this good for dense forest. When you need multiple return in order to see the bare earth model. After you be sure everything is okay, go back and press save. Check you are received RTK correction and you have RTK fixed. Our mission plan is ready and we have RTK fixed and our drone is ready to go. Go to the pre-flight parameter and check everything is okay and then press next and upload the mission. There we go, and the drone going to start point. The screen appears three views, the first person view, and the mapping mission, and also the LiDAR sensor view. We can also switch to the visible light, and you can see side by side the camera sensor and the LiDAR sensor on the L2. Up in the air, the drone starts its journey. Drone is coming back and welcome home. There we go. We just finished flying the Matrice 350 RTK with L2 LiDAR sensor. Let's head back to the office to process this valuable data. Stay tuned, phase of our journey. Don't miss out on the revolution in surveying and mapping. Subscribe now for more updates. Welcome back. After we explored the process of collecting data, 
from the field using the Zemmius L2 LiDAR sensor and DJI Matrix 350RT drone. Now we are back in the office ready to dive into the next phase. The first crucial step in processing our data is the preparation of the LiDAR raw data. And when we are using the Zemmius L2 to collect data, we are obtaining various types of files including RGB camera collaboration data, LiDAR INU collaboration data, visual collaboration data, inertial navigation data, LiDAR point cloud raw data, RTK bed station data, drone RTK antenna data, RTK lever arm compensation data, drone RTK sub antenna data. Among this data, we have photos. These photos are used for colorization. We are colorize the point cloud and give every single point RGB value. And you should not be worried about all this data. The only two data you should be attention to them, the LDR and RTB. Because if you don't have these two data, you are not able to output your point cloud data from DJI Terra. The second step, obtaining RTB base station observation data. To process and output DJI LiDAR data with Terra, the base station satellite data is required. And here is how to obtain it. The first method, if you have RTK system like DRTK2 or V30 GNSS from high target, as we mentioned before, or any GNSS that uses interrupt network or support interrupt network protocol, you connect the drone to RTK and the base station observation file will automatically record it into the data folder. The second method, if you don't have RTK, we support PPK process as well. And for PPK process, you just want to drag the observation file you get from the base station and put it into the folder that contains everything else. The third step, LiDAR raw data processing in DJI Terra. For those people who do not know what the DJI Terra software, first of all, DJI Terra software is processing photogrammetry, means converting drones, photos into 2D or to mosaic maps or 3D models. Also, DJI Terra is necessary to convert DJI LiDAR raw data into manipulate point cloud data. And lastly, DJI Terra is capable of point cloud density adjustment, optimal point cloud accuracy, smooth point cloud accuracy, verification, transformation, ground layer classification, generate digital elevation model, generate contour map. Let's proceed with processing the images we have obtained. First, let's open the DJI Terra software and create a new mission. Then, we choose LiDAR Point Cloud and give a name to the project. For example, Zenmuse L2 Processing Test. Next, we proceed to upload the folder that contains the data. After that, we go to LiDAR Point Cloud, where there are two options for point cloud density. The first one, point cloud density by percentage or by distance. I will choose by percentage and I will choose high density because if there is an area where the camera needs to capture multiple image to cover this area as well. Then we go to scenarios where there are two scenarios, point cloud processing or LiDAR collaboration. I will choose point cloud processing. After that, from here, you can generate digital elevation model for our images and I will choose the generate using scale. Then we go to advanced where we define the used datum and here we are using WJS84 Zoom 40 North. And if you have a checkpoints, you can upload them from here. And this step is done to verify the accuracy of the captured images. From here, you can choose the output format you want. Now, let's start processing. And when you press start processing, a parameter checklist will appear for you to check all the data you entered before, starting 
the processing and then you can approve it and once you finished your process you can open the folder to navigate the data you have processed now you bring up the project folder open up the lighter folder and you will find Terra LOS if you open up that folder that will be the LOS file you can import using many softwares if you have any questions or need help for the purchase of the drone and software or if you need training on post data processing give us a call email us or visit our website dynetic.ae subscribe to our channel to discover and learn more about drones and surveying equipment thank you for watching see you in the next video